Okay, so we're gonna paint the dragon's eye, right? And it's really cool looking, and we're using a black canvas, which is kind of cool, right? So the black's already there. So we want to make a, a three value, right? Which means dark, medium, light. So to make it look 3 de I have bright pieces, dark pieces, medium pieces, and if I pull it up closer, you can see they're just smears. And they curve accidentally because you go like that. They don't have to be literally smiles. I see them when I just go like that. My hand does it by accident. And, right? And then these are like longer. And look at the blue is in the purple. And they're striped next to each other. Right? It's very weird. But we do not mix the colors. We put the blue on. Or is it the purple first? No, the blue on, and then you streak purple on it, and you're rooting for stripes. And they'll stripe each other. If you keep touching it, they mix together and become one color, and that's boring, and nobody cares, and it doesn't have interest, right? So when we paint, we want the shape, texture, and color, right? So we got the shape. It's already drawn on there, right? And so the color and the texture. So in this one, we're going to make it look like fire eyes, right? And then the value change is dark. I'll show you up close. Dark, but it slowly changes to medium, then to light, then brighter, brighter, bright, right? The brightest is near the eye, which makes it look 3D, right? And then the same with these is some of them have a smidge of black in them to make them disappear into the corner. Right? They're just a little darker because I still did uh, the purple and the blue, but I put kind of a bit of black in it. And then it got really dark, but it pushes these corners back and makes, makes these come forward 3D. Right? So how many color values do we need for 3D? Three. Touching, touching, touching your paint too much. All color mixed together. Boring. Like putting everything in the blender, and then you just got one one color of ew, right? And then you don't want to eat it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna paint the eye first. And the eye, it uh, we have a little bit of black paint and a tiny paintbrush, but we're gonna paint this, you know, and we're gonna use our paintbrush up and down. But you can't really stop when you're going up, down, up, down. So you're going to leave this little area. It's probably going to jump out a little bit. But we have black paint for at the end. At the end, we'll get a little bit of black paint and redraw the smooth top line and erase the ugliness. But we can only do that after it's dry. It will make gray, right? So you're like, oh, mine doesn't look like hers. But it won't look like mine until the end. Ariana has a question. Yeah. We're going to use uh, this uh, uh, this paintbrush the whole time, mostly. And then for black, I gave us this paintbrush for black. Okay. This one? Uh -huh. This one we're going to use for black. Because once black's your paintbrush, all your colors kind of look, um, I don't know, grayer, you know. So then this one's good to have a separate paintbrush. And then she has a nice flat edge for when you draw your line, it's smooth. Okay, so it's this paintbrush, and then I'm glad you brought that up because I want to show you about this paintbrush. This is a lot of talking, but it's helpful. So when if you smash, if you if look how tiny the tip is, oh my god! It's so if you did it super soft, you'd get a teensy tiny little line like you did it so soft you couldn't even feel it, right? Mm, right. But if I push hard, look how big she actually is. That's pushing on my paintbrush, and then I fold it over and push. She's actually big. So then let's look. So how hard do you think I pushed when I did these ones? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I didn't push very hard, and that's the size they became, right? Whoop, whoop. But then, smash, smash, go, smash, go, smash, go, right? I smush, I smush. Oh, that's big. Right? So how hard you push with a paintbrush changes its size. Big little, big little. Right? So we're going to, we can smash it doing this because we're going to go. Oh, that's another thing. I'm actually going to use the side of my paintbrush, not the tip. 
tip is sharp and she kind of she's just for little things so uh -huh, uh -huh, I'll scratch the paint off so I basically paint with the side of the paintbrush like I'm peanut buttering it on like this Does that makes sense like that okay so let's paint um, uh, both sides at the same time right and it'll just it'll come out really it's like I go I'm gonna look how white that is right there don't look at orange so I'm gonna paint it white up to halfway and then white up to halfway then I add the yellow and I'm gonna try to get it to disappear into the white so it's very yellow and then as I push my yellow push it push it push it it runs out of yellow by the time I get to the iris oh and you're gonna ruin this part probably too We'll fix it at the end. And then I get yellow. And look how yellow it is. And then it gets less yellow, less yellow, less yellow, oh, white, right? So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna, oh, we need to make our eye is white, yellow, and red, but she's actually like a deep, deep orange red. It's a good color, okay? So we just open your white, yellow, and red to have them handy. It smells like paint, huh? I saw you smelling them. Make it smell like happy to me. Because when I'm painting, I'm happy. Okay, you guys ready? So I'm going to put this one down. But I'll bring it up whenever I'm talking about in a sample. Right? So here, I'm going to outline. They See, here's the line. This little line's going to get ruined, but whatever. Right? We paint it black. So... And mine is silver, yours is pencil, because pencil doesn't show up on the webcam, on the black canvas. So we're going to paint it white next to the iris right here, like this. And we're going to outline it. And you're like, oh, I cannot outline anything with paint. That's impossible. This is a giant paintbrush. So here's my trick, right? So with, you, uh, with paint, you don't scribble and um, wiggle like this. That's for crayons and colored pencils and markers where one line of color comes out at a time. Well, paint so thick, you just push the paint like this. And the paint, like a bulldozer, pushes sand. On either side is like a pile of sand. You push your paintbrush and a nice perfect bead of paint will squish out the sides and make it really smooth. So I'm just gonna poke. You don't know how much white to get. So watch me. I'm just going to poke my white. Poke. I just got some. Poke. Now you do it. You're like, hey, I can't. Yes, you can. Right? And then I'm going to I'm gonna smash next. To, I'm going to use one hair. When my paintbrush smashes, it goes boop, and it opens. But I only stare at one hair that touches the pencil. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go next to the pencil, but not touching. Smoosh. There she's open. Now I can sneak up. Oh, what one hair and I push. Wait, it got dry. Oh, I'm going to go home. Wait, I am home. I'm not. Just kidding. Okay, so I go smush. One hair did it. Now you do it. You know why you can do this? Because you can outline. And remember, don't pick up your paintbrush. Just touch next to it and as soon as it opens smash and you'll see the one hair that's going to touch the pencil then you push you don't have to pick up your paintbrush what if we go inside the iris we have our black paint for later for fixie fixie right oh now I'm, and we don't pick up our paintbrush like this and go dash 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 you'll never land in the same place this right so i go you'll just keep bouncing around because you don't have that skill so i go smash and then I sneak them on to the other side. And then push. I'm just pushing. Push. Push. Look at that goober of paint squishing out the side of my paintbrush. Exactly. That's how I get a small. Oh, that got dry at the end. I'm just going to poke more paint. Poke. I don't need very much. Poke. And then drive my car again. My I, I definitely went on top of my iris because... Um, Pupil. It's her pupil, not her eye. I went on top, on top of it because it's way smaller than it was. But I can make it bigger. Well, we'll see how it turns out. I don't know. So do both sides. And then we don't care about the tops because we're making the top. We're cutting off the tops again with black 
when we're done. So we don't care about going outside the line on the top or the bottom. Good job. And it's smooth and thick. So it is the bright, brightest white. If it turns dry and chalk-like and see-through, maybe just a smidge more. And don't pick up your paintbrush. Just smash and push. If you're going dash, 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 you're still thinking of pencils and crayons and color, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go find halfway, get a little poke of white just for my brain. And find halfway between the white and the corner. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I guess. Poke. I must put a poke. I just want to help my brain. So halfway between the white line and the corner of her, his eye. Okay. And then I go onto that side and I go, oh, that's bigger. Okay. Um, there. Just for my brain. Because I don't want to go too far. Right. So I just give myself a stopping spot. Now let's put white paint like that from here to here, up and down and nice and smooth. How come? Because his eye's gonna look furry if we keep picking up our paintbrush and go dash, dash, dash. I'm like, no, I thought eyes were smooth. So our texture is smooth. So I just stab my white paint. I don't even care, I need a lot. Step. Because a paintbrush will only hold so much paint. And now I'm going to go smush, smash. Oh, I didn't go all the way down. Look, at, I missed. I, didn't, I need to go past it a little bit. Okay. Smush, smush, smash. Sm oh, look at it get dry. That's okay. Oh, there. Okay. Got that. Now I can go and do the other side. Stab! I got oh, the paint. I don't care. Oh, I went up past the line. Don't care. We're fixing that. Smush, smash, smush, smash. And they're, all my lines are overlapping, like I'm vacuuming or mowing the lawn, right? I need to switch back to gallery view. Hold on. Boop. For me. Okay, awesome. And just smooth. Who wants to go back and smooth? And, and how much paint did I say to get? I'm watching all of you paint. And some of you, what's happening to our paint right now? It's drying. So no diddle dally. How much did the paint did I say to get? Look at me. Ahad and Z Zara. Look. Stop! I got that much paint. And then what do I do with that paint? I push it around. Right? Uh, blue on the side of my paint. Whoop, whoop. Smoosh. Smash, not dash, dash, dash. And then look at, oh, oh, I went past the top. Don't care because those are going to be painted black at the end. So now you do it. Don't be shy, right? Both sides. Okay. And then smooth it. You can use the side, not the tip of your paintbrush. We'll scratch your paint. So I'm using this flat, flat, smooth it, smooth it. And then maybe smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Okay. All right. All right. All right, then. Not the tip. Not the tip. This is going poke, 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 poke. I'm using the side and peanut butter it on. Litter, litter, litter. Side. I am, I'm, it's not a pencil. I'm holding it like at a weird angle. So the side is slipperier than the tip. Like that. Do you see the smoothness change? Mm -hmm. And I see two people finishing. They're, they're smoothing. Jade, you're, you're dropping off paint a little tiny bit at a time, Jade. Go like this, Jade. <clears throat> Your paint and smush, 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 smush. Fast, fast, fast. You gotta go all the way to the dot on both sides. Don't go ton of, ton of, ton of, ton. That's not how it is. That's not how it is. This is acrylic paint. <laughs> Throw the paint on there. Okay, who's ready to decorate? Because that is boring. Okay, so I'm going to get yellow. Nice bright yellow. And you don't have to clean your paintbrush. We're going to make, uh, it's going to turn into a yellow mix with the white that's on here, you know? So I'm going to get a stab of yellow. Go poke. And I'm going to drop it off on the white. 
but on the outside, on the outside edge of the white, and I just go booger of yellow. And then I'll show you. It's too reflective in here. The window is making a glare, right? So I went, oh, it's so yellow. And then I get another stab, stab for the other side, stab of yellow. What? And you don't scratch, scratch. How are we doing it? Are we dropping it off? Dash, dash, dash. No. Smoosh. You drive your car. Smoosh. Both sides. And it's a glob. And don't be scared of how much you put. It's how bright your eyes going to be. Smoosh. Right? And then you can see, oh, side of paintbrush is smoother. So it's how much yellow is that? How bright do you want your eye? Stab the yellow. Smoosh. Okay. Nice. I can see. I can see. Some of you, if yours is too much of an angle like this, it just looks white to me. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to try to do a fade. You guys heard of a fade or a blend, right? So watch. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to get the yellow and I'm going to, I'm going to go smoosh. And I'm going to put it another row farther away and closer to the pupil and closer to the pupil and closer to the pupil and closer and closer and closer. And I run out of yellow on purpose. I'm not going to get more. Hey, there is paint in my hair. See, told you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go. Okay, everybody watch because I only have one. So watch with your eyes. Oh, don't wipe that off, Michaela. You don't have to wipe it off. Watch it blend into your eye. It's totally, watch, watch this. We're gonna, you're going to pick that up. When you go past it, you're going to pick up that yellow and pull it. Watch. Here I go. Everybody watch. Don't look away, even if you're busy. So I'm going to go like this side of my paintbrush. Whoosh. I'm going to pick. I'm going to go up, down, and the next. Oh, I did too hard. Look at I scratched the black. What? Okay, let me try again. <laughs> too hard. You float on top of the paint. I did that too hard. Smush. Smash. And then I go a row closer. Closer to the pupil. Look at it. It's running out of yellow. Running out of yellow. Running out of yellow. Disappear and then under the eye. What? Dark. Medium. Light. Lightest. Should I do it twice? No. I am trying to run out of yellow. It disappears by itself. The white eats it up. I am trying to get it to disappear. She ate it. The yellow, the wet white ate it up. So I don't go back to that bright yellow and try to get more. Now, now, now. I'm trying to run out. So I just push one row higher, well, closer, closer, and get all the way and touch the pupil. Because what if you drop off one micron of yellow next to the pupil? Perfect. So keep going, keep going till you touch the black pupil. So it will go dark, medium, light, lighter, lightest. And then what happens to white again? It's going to turn clear like Elmer's glue. Does it remember that? So you're like, mine's too bright. Just wait. And do I get more yellow? Mm -mm, I'm trying to run out. Now the other side, let's put push it, push it towards the iris. So I go smush, up, down, close. Oh, I did too hard again. Closer, closer. I'm running out of yellow. I'm running out of yellow. It's turning invisible. It turned into a mist. And now I can't even see it anymore. And I give it, oh, and I got to go under the eye. I give it permission to go yellow and run out all the way to white. Is your white, it, go like this, do the opposite. Get a poke of white and put it next to the iris and then the white, push the white backwards, 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 backwards and push yellow back, 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 back. It works the opposite way too. So I can poke the white and put it next to my pupil and then go push it back, push yellow 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 back. in reverse. But I'm intentionally running out of paint so that it it disappears. So it's supposed to, I never stop until I hit the black pupil so that it go, it disappears and the white eats it up. Cool. Okay, now we have, we're going to just get a little, a little bit of white and fill in, um, 
this part, these two corners, but I, I, I can make it dry and see through. Basically what's left in my paintbrush will work, but it's probably not. So I just get a ton of, a ton of, ton of polka white. I don't want it too thick. Cause I, and I just go, oh yeah. Cause I'm pushing it into this corner and I just, okay. Yeah. Look, I just want, just so, just a little bit. And I'm being a little wild because I know that I go back with orange and do the smoothing. Right? So I just, okay, just fill in the rest. And then over here, pokey. Just a whittle, whittle poke, a whittle poke. And I just, just not, and I just outline, remember the outlining trick? I go inside the eye. And then I go smush and push, push. Okay, now I have the outline. Now I just go scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. All right, it's got a little bit of white on it, a little bit. It doesn't have to be solid like before. Yes, Jade, question. Yep, now we're going to fill in this, but just not as thick. You just kind of put the paint. And it doesn't have to be smooth or nothing because we're going to ruin it with orange now. But they come to a point, a triangle, right? And a triangle on its side, like an ice cream cone. Do you know why we couldn't paint these corners before? It would have dried. And it would have been all scratchy looking. And it doesn't have to, look, I can still see my black through it. But look, it's already drying. That's because when you don't put it on very thick, it dries very, very, very fast. The air steals it, right? So I didn't put, oops, you can't see it. I'll try to get a weird reflection. Oh, it's too glowy. You do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, do we really care about the edges above and below? No, we kind of ruin them, but we fix them with black at the end. Look at how ratty and feather-like the tops are. That does not, it looks... I don't know what this is. Certainly not an eye. Eyes are schmewed. Now we're going to put orange. It looks like fire. We're going to put it on so thick our hair. It looks like fire. And then we're going to go, and then I have to use the side of my paintbrush and smooth. And then I'm going to let it disappear into my yellow and make yellowy orange. But I'm only going to take it maybe that far. I don't want to go all the way to the iris because I like that it's brighter, right? So I'm going to, mm, but I, I want to make sure it disappears. Okay, so let's try. So I get my, where's my orange? Orangey black, or orangey red. Book. Okay, blech. And I'm just going to paint this corner red. Oh, look. The white helped black out the, the corner. I just, oh, I'm going to put more. I'm going to put two scoops. Night. I want it so red. The reddish orange. I don't know what to call her. She's dark, dark orange. And then this side, too. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, mine's see-through and weird. Let me smoosh it down. And I'm not doing the whole thing. Look, everybody pause and look up. It's only like three fingers in the corner, three fingers in the corner. Just, just that much. That much. And it's ice cream cone on its side, like a little triangle. And get more. Who wants theirs really red like fire? Maybe two layers of red? Michaela, can you get, yeah, get more red. Yours is turning like baby orange. Get the red on there. And then don't push so hard. Foot softer. Yes, yeah, so you float on top of the paint. Yes, yeah, soft. Yeah. When you push hard, it's a coat, right? You just kind of soft. Do you notice how you can change her texture by doing it softly? Like putting on the paint is blah, blah, blah. But then you go back for texture and do smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. Side of my paintbrush smoothie. Both sides. The other side is jealous. And who wants theirs very red? Is mine redder than yours? You need to put another layer on. You need to put another layer on if it's not red enough. You're like, oh, mine is turning baby, baby, uh, Sherbert over here. 
baby orange. I want mine red. So maybe another layer, just second layer, put it on softer. Who's ready to decorate? Okay, oh, did you, who notices the softness is a better texture? But how did you learn that? By watching me or doing it yourself, right? This is an earth planet, which means everything you learn, you must do yourself. When the teacher shows you math, do you learn math? No, when do you learn the math? when you do it yourself that is when learning happens right so you're like what what i don't know what she's talking about and then you try to do it yourself and your brain goes oh it's this trick of this planet okay now you want to see me fade it everybody pause and look up even if you're busy just let, let me show you with your eyes and then you'll experience for it personal right so mine's very red and thick side of my paintbrush so stop painting everybody watch okay Start in the very, very corner. And I'm going to go about halfway-ish. Unless it turns, right? And I'm just going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Watch, it's going to start to, what? It's running out of red. It's running out of red. I'm going into yellow world. I'm going into yellow world. I get to halfway and pause. Oh, my God. Okay. And, then, and it's not that great yet, but we have to blend. Now I'm going to do the other side. Up. Make sure I'm showing you. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I get to halfway and I pause. Is that uh, yellow? No, it's just what's ever left on my red paintbrush, and I'm trying to run out of paint, right? But look at it comes to a perfect stop, like a flag. That's okay. We're gonna blend after we get to halfway. So it becomes yellowy red and then we stop and then we're like, mm, I don't know. This lady's crazy. It looks like a, it's not blended. I don't know, but I have a trick. So just get that far and then stop. Right. And you go, I don't know. I guess she's going to show me something because this looks whack. Okay. And then I'm going to find one of my paper towels because this paintbrush has so much red on it. It keeps dropping off more and more red and it won't knock it off. So I get a paper towel and I just squeeze it like this and I squeeze the paint out of it. Now it's clean. Now you do it. We don't need water. Because we're using all the same colors again. Won't hurt nothing. Now with a no paint paintbrush, we can tell these to disappear. Question, Ariana? Oh, you just need to be patient. We're in the middle of something. Hold on. Just wait. Okay, now, oh, look at my weird stop spot. It's bad. It's bad. I'm going to get my yellow clean paintbrush and get yellow poke. Just stab the yellow. I'm going to, look at that. I want to put it right on that ugliness right there. And I'm going to put, oh, it becomes, I'm just one paintbrush big like a finger big and I just made yellowy orange what I know right yellowy orange happened now you do it put the yellow right on top of the edge of the red and we're gonna tell it to calm down red oh another one on the other side the other side is all jealous whoosh oh 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 up down look at that as I go up and down it makes yellowy red Great, and then we're gonna clean our paintbrush again. Pinch. Now with no paint on our paintbrush, let's try to get it to disappear. Watch this. Okay, no paint on my paintbrush, so what am I playing with? I'm just playing with the front of this yellowy orange. With no paint on my paintbrush, it's gonna turn into like disappearing, misty, I don't know what. So I just go, who? Oh, oh, look at she's disappearing. It's disappearing. I'm just touching the front of her and she, oh, 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 look at that. I just touched the front of the yellowy, the yellowy orange, just the front of it. Just try to get it to disappear so it turns into yellowy mist. So now you cannot see the edges of my paints, right? Right? 
I'm trying to make, there is no line anymore right there. Oh, what about this side? Everybody pause and look up. Watch me do this side. Oh, I picked it up. I'm picking up the paint and I push it closer, 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 ran out. Oh, it fades away. We are trying to run out of this orangey yellow. I'm pushing it closer, closer, running out, running out, running out, running out, all gone on purpose. And you kind of like to scribble it away. So I don't see a line anymore. It disappeared. It turned into dust. And I give it permission. I just scribble it. And I'm like, calm down, weird stripe. Okay, what about this stripe back here? Look, where yellow touches orange. But once I do this, I'm going to pick up red. So I can never go back over near the pupil again. Because it's going to turn really dark red. But now I'm going to ruin this. Oh, okay. Let me blend where yellow and just scribble where yellow and red meet. Oh, red and yellow, 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 red and yellow. Right there where they're touching. Red and yellow, red and yellow. And then I can do this one. Look at where yellow, they come to a stop. It's like a line. That's terrible. So I just go, oh, no paint on my paintbrush. I just tell yellow and red, yellow and red, yellow and red. Calm down, calm down. You just need to become a new color as I decorate like that. There, now it's all blurry. So it's like fire. And we try to get one color to disappear into another color. And we push that way with it, and we pull this way with it. And there's, is there any straight lines, straight up and down lines? There's no straight up and down lines in an eye. So go like this, blurry, 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 wherever you see a line with no paint on your paintbrush and the line will disappear. You just, right there, two colors are touching. What? So we go like this, scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. So where they touch, they become something new. Right there. Blah, 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 blah. It's a weird idea. It's totally weird. And then I'm not in love with my eye right now because it doesn't look like an eye because it has all those weird fuzzies on the top and the bottom. Totally going to disappear at the end. But not right now. It would just make gray because the white is wet. Right? And then I'm going to clean my... I lost my paper towel. Where'd it go? Oh. And then I just give it another squeeze. Jade has a question. Oh, nice blend. So do you have any perfectly straight lines? You just scribble where the lines meet like this so that there's, do you just scribble on them so you don't see the lines? Like it's like this. And then you go scribbly, scribbly with no paint and help them disappear. The line will disappear with no paint on your paintbrush. You just kind of scrub on it and the lines disappear. Hmm, move. I'm telling that color, come on. And then it will just go away. The line will just soften all by itself because you're not adding anything. You're just telling them to go away line and they mix right there. And then what if black shows built in shadow meant to do it? Ariana, do you have somebody at home? Is there somebody else at home with you? Okay, good. Because they're going to have to help you uh, draw this uh, iris back. Okay? It's just a long, skinny banana shape. Okay? They'll be able to help you. So don't worry. Okay? Okay, you guys ready? Because I, I, I painted over my... Who painted over there is a little... I'm going to have to make it bigger when I do the black. Right? So, but but Ari, uh, uh, Ariana, hers just disappeared too much. And so someone's going to have to open it up. It's like three fingers at the top and one finger at the bottom, like a banana. Right? Okay, you guys ready for the, for the, um, the scales? Okay, did you have a question? Yeah, no. Oh, About... 
Did I do the blending? Anyway? Oh, uh, point it towards me a little bit. Yours is at an angle. So uh, show me, put, hold up your painting to the camera. You can pick up the painting and, and point it to the camera. Yeah, the black is dry, so you can pick up the camera. Yeah. Okay, yes. See? No lines. No lines. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. It's a hard trick, but once you do it, your brain's like, Oh, so they, they become something new where the two colors touch. Good job. Okay. So now we're going to do these, but, um, these go like this, like around the eye. We don't push hard with the paintbrush. Dash, 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 dash. We'll practice with our little color blending. And then the next row next to that is little two. And then suddenly... Boom, 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 boom. And look at how they bump into each other. And sometimes black shows. Doesn't matter. Yes? Ariana? Sorry. <laughs> I gave you eye contact. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Good job. Okay, thank you. I called you out in front of everyone. I try not to do that, but I, I, as soon as I saw it, I worried. Good job. Okay, now we're going to make these. So we could put the, okay, buy yellow, white, and I could put the lids on them so I could use them later. Yellow, white, and red can get lids. And I can stack them out, out of my way so it doesn't make a clutter, workspace. Get out of here. Oh, rude. And now I need purple, blue, and black. And feel that purple, right? Way more paint in there. And the blue, way more paint. This didn't need very much because the eye was small. And then I'm going to, I just want to make sure this was pointy. I, when I cleaned it, I smashed it and it looks like a duck beak. I'm like, what? So I like to make them go back pointy there. <laughs> okay, now, right, and look, we go back. I'll show you the swipe of the little black right there. You can see that I smoothed it. Because they kind of erased some of those dashes, too. But I don't care. The eyelid's black. Right? And so you can see the little swipe. Of, you can see the texture is different. So we're going to do all these. But if we have to, we can paint over and bend back. Okay? So we're going to do them blue first, purple on top. And at first, it's going to make no sense to your brain what I'm asking you to do. Just like when we're doing the blending. Right? And then once you see it for yourself, then you're like, oh, right? But you have to wait for that moment because this is earth. But we just go, we just let our paintbrush open a little. We don't push very hard, right? Me, 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 like that. And I keep going like this. They're not actually smiles. You make a dash. And because you're going like this, a natural curve happens because humans want it to go like that because of handwriting so don't try to make them curve they just will okay and then we make them blue and then they're like blue so boring it's just one color how many color values for 3d three well there'll be purple pieces purple stripes blue and purple mixed together gorgeous and then pieces of blue that don't get any purple exactly so, what if I keep mixing them together? It's a nice purpley blue, but it's not 3D. It doesn't have interesting texture to stare at where they're like, what? And each one will be unique, like a real, look at that one, a stripe of purple in my blue. What What if I touched it one more time? What would I get? Purpley blue. So boring, right? So, I don't want that. It's terrible. Okay, so I'm going to try... Are you about to give me one of your uh, opinions there, Mr. Lion? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Amelia. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, the the purple, the blue, and purple. Whoa! Look at it, so gorgeous. But purple on a black canvas turns black. She dries so dark, she looks purple, right? Holding up against the black, you're like, yeah, that's purple. Oh, when she dries and she loses her uh, gel, right, and it turns clear like Elmer's glue, she'll be black. You can't even see it. So you're like, oh, so we need blue's help. So I'm going to get just a, and, and these are going to be little. 
So how much paint for little? I don't know, not a giant stab, just a poke. And then you adjust how much paint you need. So the first couple of ones you're going, what? I don't know, you guess. And then you adjust a little bit more, a little bit less, whatever. So I'm just gonna poke it, I'm just give it a poke. Let's get some poke. Yeah. I don't know. It's not a giant stab, right? Where you fill the whole thing up, like the white. Okay, now we're just gonna go like a uh, fingerprint big. A fing Put your finger up there or give yourself some reference. Like, oh, that's not big. That is not big. Okay, it's little. So I just go, all right, it's like a dash, dash. Another dash and they touch. What? See that one curved, I don't know why. It's what brains do. And then already I'm out of paint. So I might go dash, dash. Ooh, that one made it smile. I don't know. Dash, they're all gonna be unique. I don't even care. There, that's good. Just some, just for yourself. And then how thick is my paint? Look at my paint is, can you see? Let me hold it cool. Look at it rise above the, I'm putting a globule on there. Those are globs, but acrylic paint, you put it on super thick and everything, it'll dry perfectly flat. It, it will just evaporate and go right, the gel will disappear and go completely flat. Okay, so check, check, fingerprint big. Ariana, Ariana, look, we're making little dashes. It's all about the texture and black does show. So we're not painting it blue. You do not have enough blue paint to paint your whole background blue. Okay, so it's one, 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 like that. I dropped my paintbrush. Oh, there she is. Okay, <clears throat> went under the tablecloth. Okay, now where's my purple? Now I'm gonna get my purple and I'm gonna see if I can't make, Jade has a question. No, that's right. You can allow as much black to show or not show. It's a built-in shadow. So we like the black. Okay, and it adds texture. Now I'm going to get a poke of purple. Poke. Look how much less paint that is. She's thinner. So when I poke, it's not as much paint as it was with the blue. Right? So I'm just going to go and scratch this floating on top of the blue. I'm going to give them a little decorate. Right? So I just go, I just go and dash, oh, right in her tummy, dash, dash. Ooh, so I got purple pieces, blue pieces, and purpley blue pieces. One more time. No, I ran out. I need, a, I need another tiny poke. I need a tiny, tiny poke more. And then just go dash, dash. And then, okay, check for 3D. Do you have blue pieces? Yeah. Purpley blue stripe, yeah. Little pieces of purple, yeah. But what happened, watch me ruin it right now. Watch, oh, I'm gonna keep playing with it, I'm gonna touch it. What color did I get? It's so big, I got purpley blue. No, I like the stripe. Look at, oh, a big glob of blue still showing, exactly. I give it permission to do that. I'm going to, ha I'm going to, re oh, look at that huge piece of bright blue. Isn't that prettier than the solid purple ones? I don't know. I like, I'm not going to be so fussy with where my blue is and where my purple is because I like them. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go under the whole eye. Who thinks this is hard? No. Remember, you, who, if you guys are, do not paint it solid blue. You do not have enough paint to solid blue it. We want we want just dash, 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 dash. Adriana, question? If it's still blue, why is it my name is Ariana? Ariana. Sorry, hooked on phonics. Right yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now we go with the blue. And, and someone else is painting it solid blue and then putting solid purple over it. It's not right. Now I just go dash, dash, dash. Oh, look, it, it's not quite blue enough. I want more blue. Okay, poke. And then blue, blue, a little boogie of blue, blue. 
blue, blue, and they all touch blue. And it's not a poke. Don't poke. It's a dash, like goes in, you know, a minus dash. And what happens if you pokey, pokey, touchy, touchy? One color. So boring. I give them permission to be dash, dash. It's like a little phone number dash, 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 dash. And black is allowed because those are, that's all these little, when I make my dash, these parts that are going to be little triangles left over, shadows, right? Oh, purple. Who wants purple? Me, 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 me. Okay. So how much purple? Just some. Decorate it, right? So I get a tiny poke of purple and I just go, okay, dash, dash, flick, flick. Just scratch that purple. Oh, that was too thick of purple. It just went solid purple on me. It's too much. I wanted a, a little stripe, a stripe of purple, a stripe of a scratch, scratch. Oh, look at the stripes I got. Neat. I'm trying to make them float on top so they do this. I don't mix them together. I float them on top and I got blue pieces and purple pieces and a stripe of blue purple. And Emiliano, yeah. Now I just did blue, blue dots, like a, and then a little bit of uh, purple at the same time, and then I dashed, and it went to purple and blue. So you were doing it in your paintbrush instead of on the canvas. That's called a technique, right? To change the way it's done. Okay, now how about another row underneath that? Who wants to go a ton of it bigger? Ton of bit bigger. Okay, so I'm just going to stab and get my blue. I'm a book. And then what if I push harder with my paintbrush? What's going to happen? My paintbrush opens. I don't care. It'll make it bigger. So I'm push harder. Smooshy. Smooshy. Oh. Oh, I like I covered two at a time. Pachoo. Pachoo. Oh, they're not touching. You know what? I'll probably make them touch when I put the purple on it. Okay, so I'm gonna get more blue. Poke. And I go dash and dash. I'm definitely using the side of my paintbrush. And there, look how close I am, everybody. Look, look, I'm a, a hot. Look, I am touching, touching. They're right up against each other. They're not scared of each other at all. They're friends. Pew, 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 pew. No, they can't be a whole bunch of black. And, and how globby am I? How much paint is that? Oh my God, don't scribble, scribble. Get a scoop of paint and go dash, dash. Give it permission. Don't poke, dash and schmear, schmear. Yes, Jade. Well, what if your, what if your next row is just different and they don't touch? I never met this dragon. I don't know if that's how her eye is. Right? That's how your dragon is. So then the next row, because how do we learn on this planet? We learn by doing. And then we realize, we're like, nah. And then we adjust. So then we go, nah, just next row. Whatever. Right? I never met this guy. I don't know. Right? Now, oh, mine are so boring. They're just, and they're touching. And I look at how much black I have. There's like little triangles in between them. That one, that's just some. Just a little bit of black. Okay. Now I'm going to get purple. Poke. All right, I'm going to decorate those. Here I go. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, purple, that's a good one. Like my third one's my favorite one because that's the, the purple comes out really thick at first. And then as I run out of purple, it becomes more cool and stripity. I give it permission to run out of purple and change like that. Because every time I get purple, that one's going to be the most purple because it goes on so thick. The next one will be less, 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 less. And they'll change color. And I give it permission to do that. I don't need to go back and touch it or nothing. I like it. I like the texture it makes. It's just interesting to look at. Who feels good about theirs? Yeah, you got some scales. And remember, my, do scales touch? 
They do. They're not scared of each other. They can boom, right? Maybe they are really far apart under his eye, right? I don't know. I don't know. But they're just little dashes. I just go and dash. And Jade, Jade, you're thinking too much. I do this with kindergartners. You're, you're being all, I know that you're very, very detailed and you're very good at the very small things, but this, just give yourself permission to go shmush, 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 okay? Just be fearless. Like, let that perfection, because I know you have that perfection in you, right? And you're like worried about everything being so perfect. Just let it go and do this for fun. We can throw this in the garbage when we're done. It's not precious. We just go, I want to experience the freedom of the dash, dash, dash. Okay, so now I'm going to do the top row, okay, because see how you're, you're kind of behind just from, from, you know, being so detailed and tiny. Okay, now I'm going to get blue again, blue, stab, but now I'm going to stab my blue. How come? These are going to be bigger. So I stab my blue, stab. Okay, here I go. And, oh, and these are, oh wait, these are the same size. Not the itty bitty baby ones. Those were just for learning. Now I can go another row and they go dash, 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 dash. Oh, I ran out. I need more. It turned dry and see through. So I stab my blue and go dash, dash. Do I want to see the pencil? Doesn't matter. We're going to outline it in black anyway. Dash, dash. And they do touch because they're scales. And then, what do we do then? Because those are, oh, look at, I missed right here. There's nothing, what, I did that row and that row, but I missed the corner. You don't have that? Let me fix that. What, what, what? Okay, there. <laughs> okay, now, those are boring. Let's decorate them. Right? And I just poke my purple and go, okay. I'm using the side of my paintbrush. The tip of my paintbrush stays too tiny. So I use the side so I can just scratch at it. I just go flick, 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 flick. flick. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, look at the cool different colors I got. And it made them touch more. Wow. Those are way more straight than I normally do. What's up with me? Usually they have a bend to them. I don't know. I don't know. My personal style of the day is to be straighter. We never know when we paint. Your mood changes. Oh, yeah. Remember I told you at the beginning I was all off a little bit? So maybe it's affecting the way I paint. Oh, interesting. Your mood affects everything, right? Because you're just like, oh, I wasn't feeling good. And they're not, and they're like, why is I not painting good? Now, how about another row bigger above that? Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I, wait, I'm going to stab my blue really hard so they could be more bold. Even more bold. Stab. Ooh. And there's still purple on my paintbrush. Do I care? No, because they end up all becoming one anyway, right? Now I go harder. Smash. <gasps> what? Oh, what? I know, right? And then I, since there she is, and I'm going to smoosh, oh, smoosh, and I'm letting them touch, smoosh. Oh, that one's too dry. I can see right through it. I need more paint. Stab my blue. Dash, dash, bigger, harder smash, harder smash, harder smash. Woo! Oh. So wait, I remember, look at your brain relax and just be like, oh, look at it's changing, the colors are changing, the texture is different, my approach is different. And remember, they're touching, don't let so much black space. Hey, Ahad, can you go back and put another row in between those? Do another row. Yes. Mr. No Paint, you're so delicate with your paint. Get your paint, put it on there. Yes. Just get it lots of paint. It's all see through. Okay. How about, an, uh, and that's blue. So boring. So I'm going to get my purple poke. And I'm going to go, whoosh, whoosh. I'm going to slap his face like this. And then, and then, and then, decorate them and give them a little slap. Oh, that one's my favorite so far. 
it got purple, blue, and blue and purple at the same and I, oh, it's my favorite. I don't know. That one came out my favorite. It had just the right amount of purple and blue. I don't know. Sometimes it comes out too purple, too blue, but it's a reflection, right? They're, they're um, scales, right? Oh, that one's way purple, but I don't care because a variation of color is interesting to look at. Oh, this one got no purple. I'm going to go back and fix it there. Nice. It feels good about that. Are we having fun now? Okay, when we started, we're like, Remember I said you were going to be so confused by me? You're like, what? But how do you actually learn stuff on earth? By doing, right? So you're like, I don't get it. And then you start painting. And you're like, now I get it. Now let's go even bigger, right? And even longer ones. And this is going to make, this is going to be, that's eyelid. We just made eyelid. Now can we make the crease of the eyelid? So they're big, long stripes. Whoosh. Then, whoosh, and it's just going to be more representative of the crease. Let me show you. Right? So it goes, blah, 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 blah. Because the other ones go up, up, up. Because it's attached to her, um, her horn things. Right? So it just gives an illusion. So these are like long, 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 long. Okay. So I'm going to get my blue. It means I'm going to have to get blue more often because those are long. So I get my blue stab. I go, all right then. And I'm going to smash my paintbrush because this is going to be big. Long. Oh, it's like, what? That's a whole hand big? And then I get more blue for the next stripe. Stripe. Nice. And then more blue for the next stripe. Nice. And then another straight. Oops, I just stabbed the purple and not the blue. Okay, I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to put it on my blue things. I wasn't looking down. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait, I have to show you. That makes me excited. Look at the different variations of purple and blue on there. What? That makes me happy. Okay, I feel lucky. That one came out. I don't know, I'm always excited. Making colors is my favorite thing. Okay. Then, Okay, now I can put the purple. I wasn't watching before. That was pretty funny. Pew, 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 pew. And they're long. Look how shiny they are. The purple, I mean the blue is a shinier paint. And the purple is a dull paint. So it also makes an interesting texture once it dries. Cool. Nice resting, those of you who caught up with me. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna make we're gonna make these stripes, and <clears throat> they're all parallel to each other. But I'm gonna do this one first. Not this one. It's just a triangle. Nobody cares about it in the triangle. I don't care. But this one, I touch here and I try to go off the page, but it's it bends a little bit. So I go, oh, you mean here? And I just kind of push it backwards and I just go as hard as I can smash. Smash, push it. Oh, it fell off the page. I don't care. You know what? I don't like how red it came out. I'm going to smush it one more time. Smush. Oh, bulldozer trick is smoother. Whoosh. Yep. Do you guys know the word parallel? Two lines run next to each other, but don't bump into each other. So this one is now tilted going backwards. Whoosh. Right? Who doesn't have this because you went too high? Don't worry about it. I don't know this dragon. Yours is unique. Doesn't matter. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna go parallel, so then I land on her eyelid and just run next to her without them bumping into each other. So I stab my blue, because I need a lot. And I just go, land and swoosh, land and swoosh. And then I can go, oh, that's kind of far away, but that's all right. Land and whoosh, land, oh, that's all dry. What the, I need more paint. And they're kind of curving, 
carving. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, should I just keep going until it goes off the page and they just go parallel down the row? Yeah. And then this one is parallel to this one. And whenever it gets dry, what do we do? Give up and go home? Just get more blue paint. And I just go smush backwards. Smush back. Smush back. Smush, smush, smush. Smush, smush. Oh! And do, are, do they have to be all perfect? No. The texture is very interesting. But now I, I, I need to follow parallel going up right here in this triangle. See, we went, we need this one first so everybody would lean backwards and be parallel. Well, now we could just go parallel above her, right? All right. So I just go, all right, above this first one. Hello. And then, because eh. they're, you know, you can't see them no more. That is the most boring thing. They're just blue. And you know what else I hate about them? They're evenly spaced apart like a fence post. You know why? It's because I learned how to evenly space my letters and numbers. If you want to break it up a little and be wild when you put the purple on, it'll help break up. Look at it. It's literally one finger apart. It's my human brain is overly trained. It's just, I don't know. You have a very trained brain and we space them based on the size of the object. It's true. Okay. It's just a human thing. So we stab our purple and be like, well, then when I put the purple on, I'm just going to slap it like I don't care and give it permission to have interesting texture and not so perfect. So I'm just going to get my purple and go, Whoosh! oh, I just made it bigger. Don't care because it's going to help ruin the perfectness of my weird stripes. Oh, okay. That was a miss. Did you see what I did? I didn't even hit the blue. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'll do better next time, right? I don't get mad. I just do better. I just splashed blue on myself. That was wet. <laughs> I have splashed my own face, too. Yes, uh -huh. do you have a question? Yeah, my question is, I just ran out of Oh, not a worry. Just make yours how yours is. You just go. I love how blue those are. Look at that deep, rich color of blue and purple. See? When you compare those new ones to the ones around her eye where you didn't use much paint, do you like it better with more paint? Go back and do those other ones. Nobody cares. If you want to put more paint on it, you just put more paint on it. Look at mine. It's all shiny. It's the light. Oh, 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 I like it. And did you put the purple on like crazy so it breaks up your pattern so it's not perfection? Because they are uh, horns, right? Those, so if you ruin it a little with your perfect spaced apart pattern, good. Because it's a, a lizard, not um perfect handwriting assignment. <laughs> Who's scrubbing in their purple? No, stripe it. It's all about how do you paint? Shape, got that. Texture and color. And then the color is color values. How many color values for 3D? Let's check. Okay, do my stripes have dark, medium, and light in them? Dark pieces, medium pieces, light. Hey, that look at that angle. That's just blue. Let me get a different light angle. Oh, there. Blue pieces, purple pieces. Okay, that's 3D. Nice. Okay. Because some people want to make it 2D and just make a color. Boring. It's like a mixed blue. And and a purple and it makes a little kind of uh, pink a little a little bit i'll show you the color wheel this is why it's an illusion because there is red in your purple why is there red in my purple because blue and blue and red make purple right there's blue there's red purple so there is purple in your so it's an illusion but then look where we are playing we are right here Purpley blue. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We keep jumping right here. And then she shows up sometimes because of the reflection, right? Okay, who wants to make more? Look at mine. 
Here's the original. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? Some of these in the corner. For the, remember I told you about the 3D, these being a little bit blacker in the corner? Right? Darker. So that would be shadow. So these get pushed back a little. So these can come forward. Let's put, okay, let's find our blank. But black is, has a lot of pigment in it, right? So it's very aggressive and we'll want to turn the whole thing blank. Okay. So my ton of paintbrush is a little bit too pointy. So go like this and get your paper towel and smash your paintbrush on your hand. We're going to ruin it a little bit to make her hair stick out and be like, see how much more fluffy she is. I just stick. I got my paper towel. I said, all right, now she, oh, look at her hair stick out. It's going to be more gentle when I put the black on there. I can smooth it again. I ain't scared. Okay, now how much black do I need to decorate those? Yes, Jade. Question. <gasps> Look at it. Okay, now do this corner where it goes parallel and keeps going parallel up to the corner. Yes. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. You know why that's fine? Because that's how your dragon is. And when it dries, the black will show through. Black canvas is very hard to cover up, so it's built in shadowing. Just keep going. Da, da, into the corner. Okay, now I'm going to get Blick. And with my ugly, ruined paintbrush, it's all ratty now. But how much black do I need? I'm going to touch my black. <gasps> Just got a speck. A speck. A blick. And then I need my paper towel. And this is just to push the black deeper into my paintbrush. Because right now, that's going to make a disgusting blobule. You know when we got purple and it went way too dark? Right? So I'm just going to crush it into my paper towel real quick. Poof. But really what I did is I took the blob off the end and pushed the rest deep inside the paintbrush. Okay. Now I'm going to just stripe some of these in the corner with some black. Okay, what? Okay, let me do that over. Some of you are staring at me like I'm crazy. Okay, so I got a speck of black, poke. And then I go like this and I just touch the paper towel and I poke it, poke. So I take the blob off the end and push the paint deeper inside. Okay, because you were like, what? Okay, and it's just an experiment. And then let's stripe some of the, just in this corner, see if we can't make them a little deeper. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, there. Just a little bit of black. A little bit. I got black shit stripes on mine. That's perfectly straight. Let me touch it again. Okay, there. And it will just make a deeper, darker color. Right? Nice. Shadow. We pushed back that corner. So it'll get a little bit 3D. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's all we get. Okay. Now I'm going to clean our paintbrush. I don't want I just go like this, pinch, buy black. And what will this also do? Smooth out my paintbrush back to a pointy. Because remember, we ruined it kind of. Okay. <clears throat> now I can do these bottom ones. Who feels like this is going to be really easy? Because some of you already done it. Smarty pants. Okay. So I go. And then a rope. But look at my, they're curved. Because they're, we go parallel to the eye. Parallel under that one. Parallel. They're not straight. Don't be going straight rows. There's no straight rows on a, on a, of scales, right? So I go, whoosh, whoosh, and I fall off the bottom. And then in the corners, we'll put a little bit of black, a little bit of black after we're done. Okay? So on your mark, get set, beat me. No. Okay. So, who needs a more explanation? We already did all of these and all of these. How's your brain? Check in with your brain. Do you know how to do this or what? I know. Because you have a human brain that learns by doing. So as soon as you do something, you know how. Okay? So now I'm going to get the blue stab and go dash, 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 dash. Oh, my, I'm not smashing my paintbrush enough. Look, at, I don't like... I, they're too little. I need to open my paint, paintbrush more. Mm. Okay, let me try again. I wanted it right bigger than that. Smash. Open. Okay, open. 
There, okay. As soon as I get a couple going nice and big, smile, smile, smile. It's not a smile, it's a grin. And I went uphill, so it has a curve, because my next row depends on it, right? Do you want to put the purple after each one? Or do you want to do like two rows and then purple? But you, I wouldn't recommend doing all of it and then purple, because what if some of them dry? They won't make a stripey. And then I just go, push, push, schmear. Oh, F, look at that. I did a terrible job right there. I need more paint. Get a scoop of paint every time. Oh, terrible. It only makes two, I noticed. I try to make that third one, and it's too dry. I'm kind of using the side of my paintbrush. The tip of my paintbrush stays on her point, like a ballerina on her toe. So I'm kind of going like this. I'm going, hmm, 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 on her side. And look at how I'm holding my paintbrush. It's so weird. It's not a pencil. I'm using the side, and I'm dashing like that. So it's almost flat, flat to the painting. So I can go dash, 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 dash. Not a pencil, not a pencil. So you don't hold like a pencil, you hold it weird. And I just go, smush, 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 smush. Oh, mine aren't touching. Who's going crazy now? Stop it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do when we started? I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Miss Pixie. Because I was going to call myself, I was just about to call myself by name. You're crazy, Miss Pixie. But I forgot to introduce myself. So you would have said, who's Miss Pixie? <laughs> okay. I made up that name. But I do live in Pixie Hollow, so. Oh, I did three rows. I have to stop. Because I want to get purple. So I can decorate them. Dad, who's good at decorating? Getting just the right amount of purple and making that cool texture. Who's getting so good at this, you're tired of it. You're like, I'm tired of being great. <laughs> I heard that before. Stab. Oh, that's my favorite. I did it again. A perfect one. Because that one has no purple in it. But that one, I like that one's my favorite. But I give mine permission to be different versions. I they do not have to matchy matchy. That would be weird. Because when I go to get the purple, it's the most purple. That first landing is a big goober. Should I just go, go, keep going till I fall off the page on the bottom? Yes. Just go. And then, if you have some holes that are just too black, could you just put some more of them where you're like, I made way too much of a space on here. I'm going to put another scale. You just do it. And you won't recognize the parts that are too black until after you're done. And then you just add some. Right? Put a few more. Get my blue. Squish! Dash, 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 dash. Look how big those are. I don't even care. I don't even care now. I'm just doing it. I'm just going to go straight to the bottom. I'm not even going to stop. Smash my paintbrush so they're big and it fans out. Pew. I know most of you beat me because I talk too much. You guys are already done. So the teacher always has a dilemma. Who do you follow to know when, how fast? Oh, look at those. They're all stacked up each other like bricks. I'm going to, that's a perfect pattern. I don't like it. I'm going to go put some random pieces in there. And break my pattern. It's the same thing, evenly spaced apart and stacked on top of each other, like letters. I'm just gonna put a few random ones in there. Okay, there. I broke my pattern. Okay. But the teacher has to look at the, they can't go with the kids that finish first, even though they get bored and they start talking and getting in trouble. And you can't go with the kids that are very slow because you'll never finish. So I watch for the middle, the average student, the middle student. So I'm, I'm like watching, going, okay, and I'm trying to compare, should I start doing the next step or am I gonna make everybody mad? It's very hard. <clears throat> the question I heard saw a hand. Yes, a uh -huh. Look at you went back and put more paint. Look, it's so bright. I can see it from here. 
Nice. Now I gotta decorate mine with the purple. Love it. Decorating is the funnest part. Pew 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 pew. I'm gonna add, and then I'm going back and looking for holes. I don't want all of these big holes. Pew. Okay. Who feels good about theirs? Jade, how's it going? I can't see your painting anymore, Jade. But, oh, you let go. Look at you go. You just play. Now you're having fun. Good job. Decorate, decorate. It's not perfect. Okay. What was that? I missed it. Oh, you're ready for the next thing? Oh, good job. We're going to, we're going to, oh, stay for just a minute. We're going to fix our eye. Remember our eye is weird. We're going to smooth out the eye. But I remember the shadowing I wanted to do with a little bit of black in this corner on the bottom in this corner. I'm going to get some of them a little darker. Just some, just, just some. I, so I'm going to get my blick. I just want to push those corners back so it's more, mm, so it pushes them back with a little shadowing. So how did I do that? Oh, where's my paper towel? There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to get the black, but I'm going to take the poke, the little tip off of it. So I touch the black. Hold on a second, honey. And I'm going to touch the black and I go, poke. Okay, so I got, remember, because it makes a giant black bob if, at first. Poke. I get the glob off and I push it inside the paintbrush a little bit. And then I go, well, I guess just some in this corner. Maybe I start at the... If I start in the bottom, I'll kind of run out of black as I climb out of the corner. Didn't we use that trick before where we run out of paint? Very black, black, less, less black, less black, running out of black, running out of black. Done. So I got about a hand big. But who's the most darkest one? Who has the most shadow? Where I had the most paint on my paintbrush was the first one, right? So they're dark. And then as I come out with the black and I use less black, Less black, and then I could just call it done when I run out of black. So it's about a hand a hand big. Let me do this other corner so it makes more sense. So I get my black, and I just touch the tip on a paper towel. Poke. Get rid of the first globule. <laughs> like the purple. It always freaks me out. Okay. So I'm going to do this corner. So I go, it's very black at first. <gasps> It totally turned it black. That's how much paint was on my papers. But watch, it's gonna start to run out of black as I climb out of the hole. And then about a hand big, I can stop, right? So, oh, shoo, pew, 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 pew. And I'm running out, running out of black, running out of black, running out of black. <sighs> it's as big as I can. By the time I get this far, I ran out of black so I can stop. Remember, this is a really good paintbrush. This is a really good paintbrush. So when you go to clean it, don't rub it on your hand to wash it out. Like let the water run under it. Maybe just bounce it up and down on the bottom of the sink. And then get a paper towel and pinch it. And then keep rinsing it and pinching until no more color comes out on your paper towel because color is plastic. So if there's any color left in your paintbrush, it'll dry hard like plastic. That makes sense because acrylic, like acrylic nails, means plastic, right? So I just tell you now for those of you who some people are signing off already. I just want you to. This is a good paintbrush. It makes flowers. It does. It does. It makes leaves. It's a great paintbrush. Okay, now who's red? Who did all their scales? And oh, go ahead, Jade. Yes, are you decorating away? Oh, we're going to do the eye right now. But you need to just keep going, keep going, come down. And, and then I'll tell you when to pause. How about we just pause right now and we'll do the eye. Who's ready? Okay. So there is my ugliness. And I have to get rid of that ugly silver Sharpie. I should have painted over it. Whatever. But my eyelid is blick. Right? And I do not want all these, what are these oopsies? Right? So I'm going to get my black paint. And remember, remember how we outlined the, uh, the 
um, pupil at first and we got our paintbrush and we went smash and then we stared at one hair and then pushed. That's how we're going to do it again. But she's a big plate. But you're going to want to hold it like a pencil, which is going to keep her right on the tip and scratch your paint back off. Right? And you're like, why isn't it working? Well, kind of flatten your paintbrush a little and hold it a little bit awkward so you can flatten the black paint on. If you hold it straight ahead like a knife, it kind of cuts. It just scratches the paint back off. Explanation? Okay. So I'm going to skip my black. And I stab my black stab. Now we're going to turn it into an eye. Because remember I told you you're going to be all disappointed. My eye doesn't look like yours. Well, here's the point that's going to change the shape. Watch this. Now I'm going to get my blick. And I'm just going to work. I'm going to go. I'll go back and fix the rest. But I just want to retrace the line again. But I go. I go. Smash and push. And I just made it smooth. And then what hair was I looking at? The one on the edge. Just the hair on the edge. And I go poke. Put, push. It's a giant rainbow. And I cut off those top fuzzy things. They're still sticking up because I haven't painted them. But I'm worried about a nice, good, straight edge right there. And I just get my, a, a stab my black paint. Why? I have far to go. I need a glob of paint on there. And then I drive my car push. I could do it two times. More, The more paint you have, the smoother your line. And then I can go back and bye, bye all you, right? Who's got pencil sharp showing? Pencil showing up here? Oh, mine's Sharpie. So I gotta get my blick. And I, now I can hold it the skinny way, flat like a knife and just go, okay, bye, bye, bye. Cause I don't have to paint my whole eyelid. How come? It's already black. I just need to get make everything smooth again. Bye, silver. You're dumb. Okay. I just bullied the, the silver. Did you hear me? I should get suspended. Okay. Now what about the under the bar eye? Okay. Stab my black. Cause I have far to go. I get like a big stab. And I go under the eye. And I push. How come, how come we were practicing so much before? for this moment because if you pick up your paintbrush and go dash 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 it'll stay furry look ahad ahad watch me this is how you get it straight smash push do not pick up your paintbrush do not pick up your paintbrush push push it makes a smooth line you're going like this dash 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 and you'll never land in the same spot twice and it'll just make her eye more fuzzy try to get a push this is my trick i'm teaching you and you're like, what? How'd she get a straight line? This is how. This is the trick. I push my paint. I push. And I'm only staring at one hair because that bead of paint squishes out. Okay, now I got this. I got this silver on the bottom that I hate. It doesn't look good. Do you have pencil shine? And I just go, Row. bye. Bye. I don't want to look at you. Oops, I'm bullying again. There. Bye, Silver. Oh, I need a second layer. Silver's trying to peek through. What? Get out of here. You just stop it right now, Silver. You don't have Silver. You have this pencil. Yours will cover up easy. Emilio, you went with a white outline around his eye. That's interesting. Nobody's done that. It looks cool. You don't have to like, you were thinking, you were thinking my silver, yours didn't look like mine, so you tried to copy me. But you know what? You're just going to have this really gray tone and make a, a new highlight. That's kind of interesting. I didn't really, you were copying me. I wasn't really watching. Okay, what about the pupil? Uh, who painted over there? You know you did. Okay, watch. It's three fingers at the top. And mine's not three fingers anymore. i got to make mine wider at the top again. I have to go like this. So watch me. I'm going to go like this. 
It's actually this wide and this wide. And I can tell because it's three fingers. So that means I have to go, oh, and where does it end? Two fingers from the bottom. So look at, I covered up the enzy. So it's this big. Okay. Now I just try to make a banana shape out of it. It's bigger at the top, smaller at the bottom, like a ice cream cone. And I just, I can hold my paintbrush skinny like this, like a straight up and down, right? <laughs> so, and I can just go, and I hold it like a pencil and I just go scratch. There. Now I know how wide she's supposed to be and I come to a point. There. She was, she, I did paint over it a lot. Look how much I painted over it. But I knew I could fix it later. Now I just go back and dash, dash, fix, fix. Bye all you oopsies. I think I want to go over this a little more. The bottom of his eye. That's not straight. Who thinks theirs came out better than they thought it would? You were like, no way. There's no way it could do this. A hot, a hot, get, get your little square paintbrush and now do the top of the eye. But this time, get a glob of, a glob of black like this, like stab it like this, boom! And then push and go, and cut off the top of the eye like a big rainbow. See how it makes a nice, smooth line? Mm -hmm. Don't pick up your paintbrush. Push your paint like a bulldozer. Drive your car. Okay, what about, what do I have that you don't have on my eye? A little highlighty thing, right? Look at, that's a blob where I landed in there. But it's not, this is filthy, so I didn't use this. I actually used my stick. But only after you're done with your iris, right? So I get my stick and I need white. Where's my white? I have to open my white. She was hiding. And I'm using my stick. I stab my white with my, I keep saying it because some people will use the uh, paintbrush. No. And what do paintbrushes do when you push hard? <laughs> right? We don't want that. So sticks will stay tiny. Right? They can't open. But look what it does. It start. it cut. This is where I, with my stick, I landed so it's a globule. And as I scratch, it just runs out of paint. Right? Okay. Okay. So I go like this and I use the stick. Poke. And it's on the part that points down. It's on this side. And the iris is like, um, Everything that's alive on this planet has round, wet eyes, so it reflects, but it never reflects in the middle. That's something flat. The reflection will be in the middle. But if something's round, it will only reflect on the side like a Christmas ball, how they have those shines on the side. So I'm going to go like this. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. Watch me. And I'm going to go up, not near the eyelid, slightly below it. And I go, stab! And then I pull. Whee! Okay, that came into dashes. Why did it do that? I don't know. Try again. Should I be mad and give up? No. I just I just adjust and do better. So I go, step. and now that it's a little bit wet, I bet it'll be easier. Stab. Pull. Oh, oh, that okay, second time was cooler because I already pre-wet it the first time. So I didn't get mad, but I am just scratching. Look how it runs out of paint and turns into like a misty thing on the Enzies. That's Coolio, right? Because your paintbrush will go bleh, and you'll be like, why is there a big white glob in my eye? It's just a dash. Now, because it's a wet, shiny eye, it looks more real, huh? Yes, Ariana. Ariana. My sister Michaela is thinking of waiting because she doesn't like her. Oh, okay. 
Somet that's how we feel sometimes, but if we painted the same thing tomorrow, wouldn't it be different? Oh, I see. Michaela got a little black dot on hers. Is your mom home? If you're okay, if your mom's home, a wet a wet a uh, rag, a towel, not a napkin, and you can wipe that black off right there. You can wipe that off with a with a washcloth, but paper towels, smear it around. A washcloth will get it off. Okay, go to because your white is dry right now. There's not so if you wipe it off. With a paper, t with a washcloth, it'll come right off. Go tell your mom you need a wet washcloth. And you just wipe it off like jelly. Look what I did right there. I don't know. It's a, He's got a floater in his eye. He's old. So who thinks this came out better than you thought it would? That's fun, right? You're like, I got texture and color and shape and shading and shadowing and highlighting. And what else did we learn? Oh, how to make a straight line with a paint, how much paint to use, good texture. Who thinks they could play with this like for another hour and keep decorating? I know, right? You could go back and go, well, I don't want to look at any black. I'm going to put even more. I don't care. You're painting. Good job.